Welcome to AMZ Scraper. In this tutorial, we will show you how to register and connect your Amazon account. First, click on register. Fill in your details, first name, last name, and then choose a username, a strong password, and your email. Confirm that you're not a robot with the checkbox and click register. An activation email will be sent to your email address. Go to your inbox and click the link to activate your account. It will send you back to the login screen. Log in with your username and password. Before you can start using AMZ Scraper, you need to connect it to your Amazon account. To do so, click here. It will open a new tab of Amazon Simply sign in your Amazon account. Now you need to go back to the AMZ scraper and copy the API developer's name in red, AMZS, and paste it in the developer's name. Also, copy the API developer's ID in red and paste it in the developer's ID. Click on the checkbox to give AMZ Scraper the permission to work with your account. Great! Now your account is connected to AMZ Scraper. Now copy your seller name and paste it under seller name here. Copy the seller ID and paste it under the merchant ID. Copy the MWS auth token and paste it under auth token. Click on activate account to continue. That's it! Your AMZ Scraper account has been activated. This is your profile page. You can see that your account is connected. Scroll down a bit. Here you can change the fees associated with selling on Amazon. This is important because AMZ Scraper will use this setting when calculating the net profit of your items. I, for example, pay 15% to Amazon and another 1% to Payoneer. Your fees may be different. In default quantity, you can set the number of items that AMZ Scraper will automatically update the list quantity considering the source availability. This is only the default setting. You will have the option to set a custom quantity for each individual item. Under the repricing settings, you can set the default repricing strategy. This will determine how AMZ Scraper will reprice your items when the cost of the source changes. For example, instead of preserve profit percentage, you can have AMZ Scraper reprice your items to be the lowest offer and have more chances of winning the buy box as long as you remain above a minimal profit you have set. All repricing strategies can be set using a percentage or fixed dollar amount. For the shipping preferences, you can set here your preferred shipping delay. This is the maximum number of days in which you guarantee to provide tracking number when an item sells. You can also add your shipping template from Amazon to AMZ Scraper so new items you list with the lister will be listed with the shipping template assigned. To do this, go to Amazon, click on settings and choose shipping settings. Now copy the names of the shipping templates you use and paste them to the shipping template slot in AMZ Scraper. When you are done, hit save. On source settings, you can set the sales tax associated with purchasing from each of the supported sites below. I will set this to zero because I have a tax exempt account with both Walmart and Home Depot. You can also set whether or not you want AMZ Scraper to calculate in the shipping fee. There are some accounts that don't pay for shipping with some suppliers like Home Depot so they can uncheck that box here. Hit save and 
that's it. Your account is ready to go.